controversial topic here. This topic is about the school year for my daughter. She went to kindergarten this year. May is the last month. And because of the virus going around, we uh, decided to put her in a private school. <laughs> um, that way she could get the um, one-on-one -on -one experience hands-on more than the virtual learning because she's in kindergarten. We, we didn't really think um, it best to do virtual learning for kindergarten, that a one-on-one -on -one in-person class was better. So we took her to a private school and she did in-person classes with a reduced class and mask requirements. And end of the year, Asclepios and the gods have been kind because we haven't gotten sick. So there you go. They've been really good about temperature checks. Beside the point. Anyway, this private school is, boom, a Christian school. Let's talk about that today. So we enrolled her knowingly in a Christian school because they weren't charging $600 a month. Like some private schools, and it's not a surprise for those that are, have kids, no surprise that it would be $600 a month. I was like, well, yeah, there ain't no way. So we enrolled her into a private school, Christian school. Um, and you can only imagine uh, the little bit of conflicts that we've had, not with my daughter, but with what she's being taught and our personal beliefs, or at least mine. So it's been interesting. So are the gods offended by me sending her to a Christian school? No, uh, that's not the point of this video. But I just want to let you guys know that if that ever comes up, that the gods don't really care. And it kind of already exposes them to what they're going to get in a public school next year because the majority of people around here are Christian. So that ship is sailing into shore, into harbor. It's just a matter of when time and when it's going to happen. So it is an exposure. And on the plus side, it teaches her a little bit about spirituality and religion, just not necessarily the spirituality religion that I personally follow, you know? So that's the only thing negative I, well, we'll go into that uh, only negative spiritual side about that I had against this school that I already kind of knew was coming, uh, going in. Um, so yeah, because it's a Christian school, they did teach a little bit about the Bible. I mean, it, it give, she's not going to hear the Bible from us. So it gives her exposure at least to know what the heck Jesus is and so forth. So when she goes to school, she'll have an idea of Jesus and what have you. But um, and also on the plus side, it helps her exposure to divinity and God and so forth. So it gets that in her head that there is something more. So that part doesn't, doesn't bother me. But this school has Bible study. And so forth. And likely it hasn't really affected her too much. Other than knowing who people are and stuff. <laughs> She's actually not really that interested in it. Because Monday they do chapel. And just this morning. Which is it's a Monday when I'm recording this. she We have a calendar. And she looked onto the calendar. And it said. She said what does it say for today? I said chapel. She went oh no. She said that means we're going to learn about the Bible and Jesus. And so it was just funny because I think all kids at that age, that's kind of how you feel. It's like Sunday school. And this, I'm not going to get into uh, just the, how the school runs or anything. But yeah, anyway, negative and positive. So if this ever happens to you, if it doesn't hurt your relationship with the gods, they're not offended by me taking her to a Christian school. If nothing else, it does, like I said, kind of prepare her for others on the outside to somewhat know what they're talking about, you know? Anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye.